Hey, how y'all doing today? I'm sorry, let me fix this real quick, this sound. Uh, sorry, I was playing with a little free program called Audacity. It's a voice recorder that uh, I've been tinkering with. If you would uh, be interested in it, I'll put a link down there in the, the description and you can go check it out. Anyway, what I was going to talk to you today about, have you ever wanted to build just a plain basic web page? Nothing fancy, just a title maybe, a picture, maybe a link, maybe you could write a little story or whatever you want to write. If you want to do that and learn how, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that little subscribe button down there. I'd appreciate it. You might go ahead and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified of any new uploads that we do. So, you want to build a web page? Come around here and I'll show you how to get started on just a plain basic web page. Nothing fancy. Come on around. Well, here's the audacity I was talking about. Uh, that's what I'm using to record this with. You can download it right there. I'll put a link down there in the description. But for what I am using on making web pages is Microsoft Expression 4. Uh, let's tell you a little bit about it. We'll go to Wikipedia. Uh, Microsoft Expression Web is an HTML editor and general web design software product by Microsoft. It was discontinued on December 20th, 2012 and subsequently made available free of charge from Microsoft. It was a component of, of the also discontinued Expression Studio. I never actually used that one. I used to use... Um, front page. Yeah, these are simple programs. There's a, you can get Dreamweaver and a lot of other ones, but basically they're the same thing. And yeah, I can use them, but if you're not doing anything extravagant, you know why you get the headache of learning all that. And you can download it at techspot.com slash download slash 2934 dash Microsoft dash expression dash web HTML or you can just click this link down there in the description which would be a whole lot easier than trying to type all that out download it and wham bam there you go now let's get this program started uh, where are we at right here here we go and this is what you get after you download it install it actually you won't have that you'll probably have something similar to this just go to file go to new and you can click HTML or page, it's going to be the same thing. And there you go. You're ready to go. Now, you can simply just start typing away. If I could spell, typing away. And that's what it's going to look like when you look at it. Now, you can do a split where you can see the HTML which I kind of suggest because you're going to be using this up here. Don't be intimidated by all this stuff. It's not hard. And the basics. So anyway, if you want to uh, insert a picture, I don't have any idea what I've got up uh, from file. Um, here, tractor. And click insert and voila. All right, uh, we want to undo that. You can go to page properties by right clicking down here in this design field and click right here under formatting and you can pick a background picture. A while ago, what I did was just insert a picture. Now, we can make it a background picture, or you can make a color background if you want it to be green. You can click OK, and voila, it's green. Simple enough. You can change these fonts to um, default fonts, what it's set at. You can go Verdana, whatever you want. 
and then default sizes. I want to I'm show you something, and we're going to be random, jumping all over the place. But you can, I just want to show you all the basics. So I want to take that out, and I want to insert a table. So we can go. This is two rows. Like one, like this is one, and this is one, and that would be three. And columns is this way, you know, from the left to the right. So if you want to do, uh, say, five rows, it's easy to modify once you got it done in three columns. All right. If you want it to have borders, you can have it borders. If you want uh, border colors or border size, also colors, say you want it like so. All right. You want it 100% so it will fill the page. And voila, there you go. Now, if you wanted to come in here and insert this picture, it would it all go. Is a lot of your tools are up here. Open your uh, toolbar up there. But most of the time, you can right click and pretty much do whatever you want to do. You can set these. There may be a simpler way. But sell properties, this is just the way I do it. And I'm sure there's people out there that use this program and can tell you a lot better. But this is the way I do it. And then this center column is going to be 34. I'm setting the, the uh, going that at percent. What I'm doing is setting the... Uh, dimensions now that you've got those set you can go in there and put, you can resize your pictures and whatnot so they'll fit better but if you want to just insert a small picture let's see what have I done here lately um, there you go and then if you want to insert something over here you can insert another picture I don't know. Um, and if you want to say you just wanted that in the middle, you could put, you could change this cell, this particular cell properties. And you can make a, just a particular background color. So if you want to make it, I don't know, it's all the color. You can do that. So properties, we got to. Got to what we use here. Yeah. All of. Now you want to see what that looks like. You have to save. You can just save as or click on save, and that's what you're going to get when you. Uh, this bigger username. I don't remember why I got that in there, but anyway, it's going to go into websites. And we'll just type test. Whoop. If I get my fingers on the right home keys. All right. Okay. Now, you want to preview in browser. You can pick out your browser. I've actually got all these installed, but I use Opera. And there you go. This is where you can type whatever. This is a story. Well, story about are you with me so far hit save it and you can go back to your browser again and just refresh that and there you go this is a story about a man named Jed and you can do all kinds of things if you have a link okay okay I said we would put a link up here so let's go to Microsoft Expression this right click on that go back down here to your page in hyperlink right click on it go to hyperlink and you can paste that in right there now here's the thing now if you want to for when somebody clicks on that link if you want them to leave your page completely and go to that link that's fine leave it just like this if you want this to open up in a new browser click on target frame and go to new window and that will open up a new page, new tab. 
but if you want to just say uh, uh, let's say Microsoft expression for download and okay there you go now we'll save it and you can go back and check it out and there's your link right there there's so much that you can do and learn doing these but the, like i said this was just going to be a basic thing on making a very basic web page now you can get fancier and i tell you what there's some really cool websites out there if you want to uh, insert a clock uh, you can go to these websites display a clock and most of the time it's copy and paste the, you, the body this right here you do not need that and this up here you do not need because you're going to put this you just right click it or yeah just click down there hold your left mouse button down and copy that all. now right click and copy we're going to see what this looks like because I haven't tried it so I have no idea now this is where I said you're going to use the code alright let's all right, let's go back you want to so say you want to put the clock in this cell right there see where I'm at right here and see how up here it, it, it kind of highlighted that well there you go you want to take out this stuff right there and then you want to paste it right there now let's go see what kind of conglomeration mess we've got now because I have no idea we'll both see this at the same time oh there you go see there's your little clock okay if you want to use dreamhost which is what I use you can go to dreamhost.com and go down to hosting share your website hosting and see all plans all right this is for a three-year plan 495 times 36 I do the monthly plan so minus 1095 a month um, you get uh, unlimited storage on this one uh, five domains unlimited um, subdomains You can click on domains and type in the domain name you want, allpaint.com. And it says, who's a, a who's a, who's a, I don't know what that means. But you could get wallsandpaint.com for $7.99 a month. I mean, a year, I'm sorry. Mm, you can get club. They have a lot of different ones now. But basically, that's what it is. If it's like you tried to get mine, it's going to say, sorry, BrandonGSmith.com is unavailable. So you wouldn't be able to get that one. But you can pick out one. And sometimes it gets frustrating coming up with a name. But think about that one for a while because you're paying for it. And you can find your domain there. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Dirty shoes adventures.com all right since i already looked here we go search for domain and you want to see something that's funny <laughs> oh, dirty shoes adventures.com is available for two thousand and ninety dollars and i paid 14.99 or whatever it was but i let it expire so my fault so there you go. That is pretty much the basics on uh, just making a very basic web page. Remember, I didn't promise anything fancy. But if you have any questions, be sure and leave them down there in the comments. Or if you have a comment, leave it in the comments. I hope this has helped. And if you do decide to build your web page, 
and need a host, consider DreamHost.com. I'll put a link down in the description. And if you use that link, that actually give me a few cents on of, uh, my monthly plan. And you can get into it also. You can refer somebody and they'll give you a few cents off of yours. You know, nowadays every penny counts. So, rather than jumping back on the camera, I think I'm going to end it right here and say, y'all keep on keeping on, and we'll see y'all down the road. Bye, y'all.